I went to New York with the Giants. Um, I went to Jacksonville with the Jaguars. And then I had a workout with um, Atlanta. And when I tell you my workout in Atlanta was like, everything was perfect. The grass was perfect. That's in Swanee at their facility. Yeah, the, the, the old facility. Yeah, the old facility in Swanee. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the Flowery Branch was not a thing. No. Uh, and um, it was an old rundown facility in, in Suwannee, but my cleats fit perfect. Steve DeBerg was throwing me balls. There was two other guys I had out there trying out, and I had a great tryout. And a few weeks later, they called me and, and put me on the practice squad. So what point did you move from the practice squad to the main roster? So I finished the last three games. So I think I joined the team December 13th of 99. I was on the practice squad for the last three weeks of the season. And uh, we, we spent, Aaron and I, my wife and kids spent Y2K inside a Extended Stay America right off of Pleasant Hill over here. And uh, waiting for the world to break down, but it never happened, obviously. Is that the one that you can see off of 85? That's exactly Because I one. drive past that all the time, and we're not sponsored by Extended Stay, so I say whatever I want. <laughs> okay. I see that, and I'm like, I don't know anyone that would want to stay there. You don't want to. <laughs> it's by necessity. Uh, we, we didn't have a lot of money and we just needed a place to stay and rest our heads at night for a few weeks. And, um, that's where we stayed, extend to stay America right there. So right. it was good. And, um, uh, I finished up that season, packed up all our crap, got back in the car and headed back to South Jersey where we had a little, um, townhouse condo and kind of didn't know what was going to happen after that. Um, Falcons called my agent after, right after the season and said, we want to sign him to a one year deal. And uh, I was like, let's do it. And um, I came back down to Atlanta for, for uh, spring training and in camp and OTAs and mini camps and all that. And, and um, the rest is kind of history, but it was a one-year deal. No guarantees to make the roster, no guaranteed money, no nothing. It was just minimum salary. And, and I was fortunate enough to impress enough guys in the preseason and show that I could play. That's why I don't like when everybody craps all over the preseason. Because it's, it's the reason I stayed in the NFL as long as I did. I had three or four preseasons in a row. Where I, I had like really good numbers, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous. But I was out there playing a lot and playing special teams and tackling dudes and, and making scoring touchdowns and, and the special teams. And uh, the preseason gave me opportunity to showcase myself to the Falcons, let them know I could play against these guys. And, and that's what happened. And then I think I signed a one-year deal the following year and a one-year deal the next year. And then I got a three-year deal. And then I signed a four-year deal, and then a couple more one-year de one deals after that. And 11 years later, here we are. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you hear talk right now, I think current day, Roger Goodell is saying, oh, we, the less preseason games we can have, the better. And it's now talk of 18 games down to two preseason, preseason. games. But then you want to have those stories like Victor Cruz, who just showed off in preseason, and Russell Wilson won the starting job in preseason. You want to have stories like that or players like yeah. that emerge. So. It definitely worked out for you. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And I think two is enough, especially if you go to 18 games. It's too much football to be playing. I, I'm not a huge fan. I, I I think there'll be another bye week implemented implemented in there as well when they do go to 18 games. And it's all about money and, and TV money and everything else. And the NFL is the strongest entity as far as sports franchises are concerned right now. And I think will be for a long time. Uh, but the preseason is necessary for coaches to – look at the players and see if they have what it takes to play real football and get after it. I do like the fact that you have joint practices now because that ramps it up a little bit too and gives you another opportunity, two or three practices during the week to show that you can play against other guys. Um, but you do have to have a couple because there's going to be those fringe guys that, you're that you mentioned that need that opportunity to show that they can play and, and play consistently, and, and that's what the preseason did for me. Then yeah. you got to back it up when you get in the regular season. 